While an iPad is generally considered to be a wireless device, it is possible to connect it to a home network via an Ethernet cable. This can be particularly handy if we have to configure a new router or if we are experiencing problems wirelessly connecting to our Synology NAS. In order for us to be able to connect an iPad to our home network via an Ethernet cable, we will need to purchase a USB Ethernet adapter. However, as your iPad will either have a single Lightning or USB Type-C port, more than likely you will need to use some sort of connector in order to be able to plug the USB Ethernet adapter into your iPad. As the iPad that we're using in this video has a USB Type-C port, we can use a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. The reason we chose this make and model of Ethernet adapter is due to its strong aluminium housing, the prominent position of its indicator lights, and its ability to transfer data at up to 1 gigabit per second. Let's plug one end of an Ethernet cable into our home network. If we now connect our Ethernet adapter into our iPad, you can see the power light on the adapter will switch itself on. When we connect the other end of the Ethernet cable into our Ethernet adapter, the second indicator light on the USB adapter will show us that we have a network connection. Let's confirm that we have an Ethernet connection by opening settings on our iPad and then from the settings sidebar choosing the option Ethernet. As you can see, in Ethernet, our USB adapter is listed. If we select our USB adapter, we are provided with the settings that our iPad is using to connect to our home network. As these settings appear correct, let's turn off the iPad's Wi-Fi. Now if we close settings and open Safari, we can try and access Distation Manager. What you should notice is that because we are now using an Ethernet cable, loading Distation Manager is considerably faster and more responsive.